Welcome to the Leadership Decoded Podcast. Here, we break down leadership concepts to give you practical tips so that you can lead at your best at work and in your everyday life. I'm your host, Dr. Will Ramey, a former U.S. Army officer and combat veteran, a team and leadership development workshop facilitator, and an executive education adjunct professor. Today, we're diving into a topic that's a little understated. As a leader, the art of encouragement can yield powerful results with your team. Inspired by Jordan Montgomery's book, The Art of Encouragement, we'll explore how this simple yet profound act can transform your leadership style and create a positive ripple effect within your team. Encouragement isn't just about offering praise. It's a deliberate, skillful practice that can uplift your team, foster growth, and drive significant results. Let's dive in. This episode is brought to you by Sweat Tent, the industry leader of the portable at-home wood-burning sauna. Being a leader can be stressful. That's why I've been a sauna user for many years. Did you know that consistent sauna usage three to four times a week not only relieves stress and improves sleep, but it also enhances your physical well-being and fosters mental resilience and cognitive clarity to be a better leader? And you no longer have to go to a crowded gym or buy one of those expensive and bulky at-home setups to experience the benefits of a sauna. Sweat Tent is the most portable and affordable at-home sauna on the market. The setup takes minutes and can reach 200 degrees in under 30 minutes. Harness the power of the sweat tent sauna to lead with clarity and poise. Sweat out stress, ignite creativity, and emerge a more focused leader. All Leadership Decoded listeners will receive $100 off when you use code LEAD100. Visit sweattent.com today to get $100 off your purchase with code LEAD100 at checkout. Again, that's sweattent.com to get $100 off with code LEAD100. Sweat Tent, improving your ability to lead at work and in your everyday life. This episode is brought to you by CNG Tutoring. Founded by Janelle and Chris Seaton, CNG Tutoring is Northeastern Pennsylvania's leading tutoring service. Our experienced state certified tutors provide personalized one on one sessions tailored to each student's unique learning style. From math and science to reading, writing, and even Spanish, we cover it all. We also offer top-notch SAT prep designed to help students sharpen the skills they need to achieve their goals on the SAT. Join the countless families who trust CNG Tutoring with award-winning educators and a five-star parent rating. We offer in-person and virtual tutoring using 21st century learning techniques. Visit cngtutoring.com today and start your child's journey to academic excellence. CNG Tutoring. Ignite your mind. This episode is brought to you by Fit AF. As a leadership coach, I understand the importance of fueling both body and the mind. Balancing coaching sessions, workshops, and personal development can be demanding, and that's where Fit AF steps in. Fit AF offers an ever-changing menu crafted by top chefs and nutrition experts to ensure you're getting the best quality meals. Their diverse selection caters to various dietary preferences and needs, including keto, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, and more. As a valued listener, enjoy an exclusive offer. Get 20% off your first order of seven meals or more by using code LEADER at checkout at fitafnutrition.com. Again, that's code LEADER for 20% off your first order of seven meals or more at fitafnutrition.com. Encouragement is a very powerful concept. I mean, you can think about it when you were a kid, when you got your first job, when you're trying something new. If you, if you can recall somebody who stood by you, who gave you praise, who cheered you on, who believed in your abilities. And you can think about somebody, too, who may have been there when things didn't go so well. You may have, have screwed something up. You may have not done something right. But you still had a person there to encourage you to do the right thing, to share their thoughts and their their belief in your ability to turn something around. Encouragement works both ways. It's not just always a pat on the back. It can also be needed and powerful when you're there to lift somebody up or to help them seek a different direction. And I'd like to share with you, I've been encouraged by many people throughout my career. Uh, most recently, though, without the encouragement of one person, I may not have felt confident enough to take the leap into business ownership. And that person is uh, Professor Rajiv Nag of Drexel University. Rajiv, if you're listening, huge shout out to you. Rajiv was a faculty member in the DBA program at Drexel when I went through. And he and I had many conversations, usually over breakfast, sometimes at lunch. But one particular conversation stuck out in the back of my mind. And he asked me what I wanted to do with, with my education after I had obtained my doctorate. And I told him, I said, well, I've been thinking about 
going into business for myself. He says, why haven't you? I said, well, you know, I, I, I want to finish the program. I, I might, uh, you know, get my coaching certification. And, you know, I really don't know why people would listen to me. It, I, I'm just, it's just me. And the conversation at that point in time, it, it stopped. And Rajiv shared with me his thoughts of who I was and what he's directly observed throughout this program. And he had such kind words of, encouragement, plain and simple, to be, to propel me. He believed in me probably more so than I believed in myself at that point in time. But he was there in that moment saying, this is, you're overthinking this. There's, there's, you don't need any more certifications. You don't need any more uh, education. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Finish the degree. This is, this is great for you, but you don't need it. You've got enough experience You've got enough expertise, and you're going to have a whole new tool set to bring to the table to help leaders, to help teams develop when you finish this program. He says, don't stop and think bigger, dream bigger, follow your dreams. He says, you have a knack for this. Go out and do it. Just do it. Just get started. And that conversation happened. A month later, I, I filed for my LLC paperwork. It it. It was something that was serendipitous. It was almost hard to put into words how that universe brought us together, those words I needed to hear from someone who I have a high admiration and respect for in that moment, pushing me to go further, pushing me out of my comfort zone because he saw in me what I didn't see in myself yet, the future version and he encouraged me to take the first step, to take the next step, to pro- and pr- provided support along the way. So Rajiv, I want to thank you. A shout out to you real quick. Thank you so much for those wonderful uh, breakfast time conversations we had together. I hope you are well, my friend. For me, that opened my eyes up to understanding how encouragement could work as a, as a leader, as a, as a human, as a person who, who influences and connects and, and talks with other people. In The Art of Encouragement by Jordan Montgomery, he emphasizes that encouragement is much more than just saying good job. It's about recognizing and cultivating the potential in others, creating an environment where people feel valued, where people feel motivated, where they can draw on their intrinsic motivation, where they know they have the support from somebody to be at their best, to try new things, to take the risk. Encouragement, when used intentionally, can unlock new levels of performance within your team because you're connecting on the human level. Montgomery outlines that there are 10 distinct arts of encouragement each offering unique strategies to lift others up. Whether you're identifying the good in someone like Rajiv was doing with me, or you're helping them see their own potential like Rajiv was doing with me, encouragement becomes a powerful leadership tool that goes beyond simple praise. You take time to connect with another to instill confidence in them that they may not have, or they may be on the, on the fence of it. But when somebody knows that you have somebody else who believes in them, somebody else who is there to help help lift them up, that gives them the confidence and courage to take that step on their own. Encouragement can be a safety net. I believe encouragement can be a superpower when you practice it regularly. I want to share with you some of my takeaways from the book, uh, The Art of Encouragement. One of the most significant for me was how encouragement can enhance uh, your leadership by helping you see and nurture the good in others. Leadership can't just be about direction. It can't just be about uh, numbers and, and key performance indicators and quantitative data. Leadership to me is a people business. It's an interactive process. It's a social connection process of being able to influence others towards a common goal or objective. How can you influence others if you don't connect to others, if you don't nurture uh, who they are, who they can be? the potential you see in somebody today and help help guide them, help grow them to reach that potential in the future. 
So the uh, one way to, to do this is to be intentional with your words. Words have power. Take the time to offer genuine, thoughtful encouragement that speaks directly to an individual's strengths and contributions. This isn't about flattery. It's about recognizing specific behaviors and efforts that align with your team's goals. Good job, attaboy, thanks for that. It's not good enough today. Be specific. So if you want specific positive behavior and you want to help that behavior grow, be specific with tying that praise to that behavior. That way it's, it's not just seen as generic positivity. It's seen as positivity with intention. Secondly, create a positive environment. When you consistently encourage your team, they know that there is a culture of positivity and support. This idea of mutual support. I'm your leader, but I can also, I can also lead uh, from the back seat. I give you the opportunity to lead, your, to lead yourself, to lead teams, and I can be a follower. It's this idea of creating an environment where leadership can shift, where support can shift, and people know that you may, you may be in the lead, I may be your team leader, but I'm here to support you. I'm here to remove roadblocks. I'm here to get you resources you need. I'm here to help bring you back online if something goes astray. So as team members feel safe to take risks, as they feel safe to take initiative because they know that you're there to support them, innovation goes up, creativity goes up, exploring new ways of work and problem solving go up, 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 which leads to better performance. Third, using encouragement as a leadership habit. So as leaders, we have habits, rituals, routines throughout our day. I've spoken before about practicing gratitude and doing some self-reflection, but part of your routines and part of your rituals should be to go out and connect with your team. Make it a point to find parts and spots throughout your day to go encourage your team members, to incorporate it into how you practice leading. Whether through daily interactions, team meetings, personal notes, emails, text messages, find ways to regularly uplift and motivate your team. This constant practice helps build trust, helps strengthen your teams, and, re- and build relationships. A company I used to work for, we had little uh, you know, three, inch, three by four inch cards where we, we could write a quick on the spot note and hand it to a team member. It was team member recognition cards. And if you observe something, you had the means uh, in the moment to pull that card, pull out your pen, write it, make it specific, give it to that person on the spot. Think of the power of explicit, specific, on-the-spot encouragement from leader to team member throughout your day. You do that three times throughout the day, it'll have exponential benefits. I'm telling you, make it part of your practice. Uh, My next big takeaway was maximizing impact through encouragement. And Montgomery uh, also highlights how encouragement can maximize impact uh, within your organization, within the community. And here's how. The first is driving team performance. Research has shown when teams feel encouraged, they're more likely to go above and beyond. When teams feel supported and they feel the encouragement from their team leader, their commitment goes up. Their dedication goes up. Their positive organizational citizenship behaviors go up. Encouragement helps them see the value of their contributions, and it leads to increased productivity and better results. Plain and simple. All of these uh, ideas over here about commitment and dedication and initiative, they go up when people feel supported, and when those go up, performance goes up with it. It's a positive correlation. Second, attracting and retaining talent. In today's competitive job market, attracting and retaining talent is crucial. A leader who, con- who consistently encourages their team creates a work environment where people want to stay and grow. As encouragement goes up, as encouragement becomes part of the fabric of your team culture, attrition rates go down. And also, as encouragement goes up and you're looking for a recruitment, you've got good word of mouth. You're creating a good culture. You're creating a team atmosphere where people want to be a part of that. So if you do a a team member out, you're going to have positive reinforcement that attract people who want to be on that team. And third, uh, encouragement creates a ripple effect. The impact of encouragement doesn't stop with the individual. When you encourage a team member... They talk about it, they pass that on, they see it modeled, they put it into practice. It's this, it's this ripple effect, this trickle-through effect 
of practicing encouragement as a, as a team leader, having your team members feel that, talk about that uh, directly or indirectly, and then they pass that on to the, either the teams that they lead or their peers because now it's becoming part of the common conversation, the daily habit that we have within our team. So now you've got a, call it a ripple effect, call it a, a, uh, an exponential effect that the art of encouragement will have on your team. That boosts mood, it boosts uh, commitment, it has a positive impact so that your team feels connected together and wants to and has the desire to continue to support, uh, trust each other, and work towards that common goal or objective. I'd like to share with you some practical strategies on, on how you can implement uh, encouragement through your, your daily practice. Uh, one is personal recognition. So take the time to recognize the unique contributions of each team member over the course of a month, over the course of a week. I'm sure majority of your team members are, are doing good things each and every day. Find that time. Keep your log on who you're, you're, you're giving those little personal recognitions to. Be, being specific, tying it to the behaviors that you want to see. A little handwritten note goes a long way. Make something very simple. High touch, low tech works very, very well. Uh, in this situation. Uh, secondly, public praise. You know, so while some encouragement is best given one-on-one, -on -one, public praise can also be highly effective. It catches uh, the attention of, of other people. It signals to them what good behavior and what desired behaviors are being recognized and being encouraged for. Um, and celebrating successes in front of the team, it boosts morale uh, and it sets a positive example for others to follow. So when appropriate, think about those, those public displays of encouragement and recognition. Next, encouragement uh, and challenges. You, don't, you, you can't just offer encouragement when things are going well. Providing support when things are, are off kilter, when things are not going well. Encouraging people to kind of be resilient and pick back up. Encouraging people to move through adversity and encouraging people to move through setbacks. This helps build resilience. It helps build perseverance because you can't just abandon your team when things aren't going well. Practicing the art of encouragement specifically during challenging times lets your team members know that mistakes are okay, failures are going to happen, setbacks are going to occur, but I'm still here for you. I'm still encouraging us to move through the hard times. That's what make, And challenges make things fun. Reframe that problem as a challenge to be overcome. Encourage your team to get back up, dust them off, and help move them forward together. Encouragement, it's indeed a superpower in leadership. And it's something that, again, might be understated. Uh, it might be difficult to put into words. Hopefully this conversation has helped you as a leader understand what encouragement can do for you, what encouragement can do for your team. And it's a tool that you have now in your tool bag to transform your team dynamics, to help drive performance and create a culture of positivity and support each and every day when you go into work. Uh, if you want to understand more about the art of encouragement, I encourage you, pun intended, I encourage you to uh, pick up a copy of Jordan Montgomery's book, The Art of Encouragement. And I want to leave you with a challenge. Think about this. I want to ask you, how will you use the power of encouragement in your leadership practice this week? Listen to this episode. Take one of those strategies, one of those tactics. How are you going to put that into play this week? Drop us a comment. Let us know what you did, how it went for you, and how it felt. Thanks for tuning in to Leadership Decoded here in the Loop Internet Studio. If you enjoyed today's episode, give us a comment, send us a like, give us a review. Better yet, download it, share it with your fellow leaders. Help get the word out and share what you've learned here today with your fellow leaders so we can all lead at our very best each and every day. If you're an organization looking for uh, learning and development opportunities for your team to invest in your leadership, growth, and development, I want to work with you. I offer highly engaging, creativity-infused leadership and team development workshops. You can connect with me on LinkedIn at Dr. William Ramey, at Instagram at Leadership Decoded Pod. You can email me at will at onthestacks.com or check out my website, drwilliamramey.com. Thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you the next time you press play.